What's up guys? Shane again. Um, I was going to do this video. This is my review on the Hogue Counter-Strike and I'm going to have to change backgrounds here. Uh, I want to tell you why right quick. I've tried to record this video several times, but this knife is darker than under the bed, man. This thing just doesn't even hardly show up on camera. I've tried all different types of lighting. Um, just doesn't seem to matter. So I guess step one, if you want to be covert and uh, you don't want your knife to be seen in the dark, this is the one. I'm telling you, you lay this thing down on any black surface, you cannot find it. I don't know why. It just doesn't, it doesn't, light doesn't do it well. It's just really hard to film. But anyway, that's uh, not important when it comes to, you know, how is it as a pocket knife? How is it as an OTF? Um, I want to start out saying that so far, this has the best OT action that I have experienced. Um, for those of you who know me, you know um, I have nerve damage in my hands. Um, the, some of the microtechs I've handled, I could barely even open and shut. Sometimes I actually couldn't open or shut them. But um, this one just feels like the trigger is about 10 pounds lighter. So, so far, I like that a whole lot about it. The second thing that I really enjoy about this knife versus... Um, some of the other uh, OTFs that I have experienced is, as always, from Hogue, this thing came screaming sharp out of the box. So hats off to Hogue for selling a knife with a good edge on it, which they typically always do. Um, as far as uh, hard use, have not hard used this knife. I've um, got to be completely honest about that. This is not my knife. It's in a loan for me to check out. So I have carried it. I have cut some with it. Um, but who would want to hard use an OTF anyway? Um, get a different knife. Uh, so let's get into some of the things I like about it. Um, first of all, the, how do I put this? It's not just the ergonomics. The ergonomics are great because they're so bland. You know, there's nothing to get in your way. So the knife is going to feel good in your hand. Uh, um, I will admit, I do feel the pocket clip a little bit, and that may turn into a hot spot with uh, long-term usage. Um, let's be serious, guys. Nobody's going to be cutting all day or for hours with their OTF, so I don't care about that. In typical OTF uh, fashion, it does come with a glass breaker there. Um, I could take it or leave it, you know, if, if it was if it was something I could take off and it wouldn't make it ugly, I would. Uh, just because I don't feel like I really need it. Um, but who knows? Maybe one day I will. But um, like I said, the, the, the biggest plus to this thing to me is the action. The trigger on this is much easier to, to engage. However, it is not possible. You're never going to accidentally open that in your pocket. So I appreciate that. Um, I do appreciate the milling. On this aluminum handle, it's got this nice, pretty swirl pattern to it. You know, can't beat that. That looks good. The uh, the blade as well. One thing I love about it, you know, it's in 20 CV, but it's not as chunky as most OTFs I've found to be. You know, it's actually got a decent thin blade stock on it, which gives you some some good cutting geometry. Um, believe it or not, that's not something I've seen a lot on OTF knives. Knives. So. Um, so I'm enjoying it, guys. Uh, like I said, you know, it's as covert as it gets. You lay this thing on a black surface, you, you know, and it just absolutely disappears. I've actually walked around a couple of times uh, hunting it, and it was right here in front of me. So there's that. It's a great size. I believe this is going to be right around, you know, the uh, not the large Ultra Tech, but the one right beneath it. It's about that size range. So it's not too big. However, there's plenty of blade there to do some work if you need to. And I don't know about you guys, but if, if I'm going to carry an OTF, I, I'm not planning on doing a whole lot of work with it anyway. Um, I'd be really curious to know if you guys let me know down in the comments. Do any of you guys carry an OTF and use it? I mean, really use it like cutting straps, cutting things all day, every day. Um, I'd be curious to know if there's anybody, anybody out there who carries one of these for that purpose. But um, yeah, so far, this is my favorite. Um, these are available right now at Blade Ops. Um, you know, they are absolutely uh, competitive with Microtech pricing. That wouldn't be difficult to do. 
So, uh, yeah, if you're interested, interested in one, get over to Blade Ops. Uh, use my link below. I'd much appreciate it. Um, guys, I hate asking for subs and likes. I've never really done that. But um, I will admit, you know, I know I've got more buddies than I have likes on my videos. So, so hook a brother up. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, you guys know I appreciate any amount of time y'all spend with me. Peace. Love y'all.